If you want to take your sales to the next level, then you definitely need to understand this very often misunderstood concept in sales, which is how people like to buy versus typically how salespeople like to sell. And in this video, I'm going to help you with two very distinct techniques so that you help people buy from you rather than you having to sell to them. Tom Jacobs here, and this channel is specifically for solo practitioners, solopreneurs who want to increase their sales through the power of presentation that turns into performances that ultimately makes more profits in your business. Personally, I love to buy things, but I hate being sold to. And maybe you're like this too. And I think most people are. They don't like to be sold to. That just feels uh, it's kind of icky. It's like that old time automotive sales. It's like hard clothes. You buy until you die. All that type of BS that right, frankly doesn't work anymore. People are a lot smarter than that these days. And ultimately, when you are selling a personal service or a product, you really need to get that prospect to ultimately buy into the fact that they're going to do what you ask them to do long term, especially when it's a health product. And you want to make sure that they feel comfortable with that purchase decision. And the best way to do that is help them buy from you rather than selling to them. To illustrate this point, I'll tell you a little story. And I was, must have been 15 years ago or so, I was buying a car, a new car, and I go into the dealership and you know, you, just, you expect this hard sell the moment that you go into the dealership. And actually this dealership was completely different. The salesperson was really, really good at his job. And I think he was one of the top salespeople in that dealership. And I went in and instead of just, what are you looking for today? He did something completely different, which was just trying to you know, gain my trust, first of all, and knowing who I was and what I was looking for. And he did that with a few very simple questions like, oh, how's your day going? Are you looking for anything specific that I can help you with? And I told him exactly what I was looking for. And you know, a lot of salespeople, they'll go into the techniques of, oh, well, this is a V8, V6, V, I don't care, what is V, right? And it's an engine and it goes. I was interested in the status of having a BMW, quite frankly. <laughs> I wanted a, a good, reliable car and BMWs were, are very good and reliable. And I, I wanted some luxury as part of it. And he understood that that was my emotional buying decision was that emotion of the prestige, the power of sitting behind that ultimate driving machine, all that. And he dove into that emotional desire of mine. Talked a little bit about the technical pieces of the car itself, but that wasn't important because people buy on emotion. And the moment that you tap into the emotional aspect of that buying decision, you have the sale. Now, People will then justify their purchase with the rationale behind it and, and rationally kind of figure it out. But ultimately, people are buying on emotion. So the moment that you go into the emotional state of the person and help them elevate their emotional state to a buying state, then you just fill in the details with some of that rationale on why they should be buying. Now, the problem that I see a lot of times, and when I'm coaching my clients and listening to the sales calls, the problem that I hear quite a bit is now they tap into that emotion. They got the person kind of hooked on the emotional piece of it, but then they lose them on the technical aspects. They spend way too much time talking about what the process is and this aspect and this feature and this feature and this feature. And they're not really, they, well, they've lost the whole emotional aspect of it. And they haven't really kept into that emotional because they went way too deep into the uh, rational aspect of the sale. And I gotta tell you, I've done this many a times uh, myself and I know that I've lost the sale the moment 
that you just kind of see that glazed over eyes of the prospect and they're like, uh, maybe not. This seems really complicated. I, I'm not sure I want to do it. And so you've t completely taken them out of that emotional state. The key here is number one, tap into the emotional state of the prospect to make sure that they are buying based on emotion because that's what people do. And they're saying, yes, I want to buy this. this sounds great. This is what I want. And then the second piece is to just kind of back up that sale with some of the rationale on why they should be buying or why they've just made a really good decision to purchase your product or service. But don't spend too much time and don't over talk the features or you'll lose the sale. So number one, tap into that emotion and then just back it up slightly with the rationale and you are going to do amazing with your sales. Try that. Let me know how you do on that. Just make some comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And I've also put together a nice little video here that I think you're going to really enjoy. It kind of gets into that emotional aspect as well by telling stories. So I'm going to put that video right here. Check that out on three tips on telling better stories during your sales presentations. That again gets some very emotional state as well. And until next time, you have a great day.